Okay, so problem nine states, suppose 500 milligrams of painkiller um, is given to a patient precisely at 11 a.m. every day, and only 40% of the drug remains in the body after one day, right? So 40%, just keep in mind, is 0.40. And the other 60% six, of, the, of the drugs, of the drug, um, is excreted. Part A states what amount of painkillers are in the patient's body, and this is being measured at 1059 right before the that day's dose is given, um, after one day and after two days of treatment. So what I do for this problem is I create like a little table to sort of like summarize. So here's how this works. Um, what we're going to have is two columns. So the, fir the, the first column is specifically after T days. Oops, I thought I could have fit that there. All right, so we'll say after T days. The second column, I will call it the amount of, the, the amount of drug remaining. Okay, so let's think about the situation that's going on here. Let's say I started with T equals zero. Before you take your initial or first dose of the drug, do you have any drugs in your body? Yes or no? No. No, you don't. So since you don't have no drugs in the body after... Uh, zero days, then the amount of drug that's clearly going to be in your body is zero, right? Now, when I say T is equal to one, we are going to have, um, okay, after one full day of taking a drug of 500 milligrams, only 40% of that drug remains in your body, right? So we'll have 500 times 0.40. Now, if I take that drug a second time, or in the, in the second day in succession, now the problem becomes a little bit more tricky. Because remember, you are taking a new dose after every single day. So by day two now, or after day two, you now have a total of two dose of the drug, right? So we're going to have 500 times 0.40 after the second day. But remember, this first drug that you took originally, this one um, in, our, in, our third, uh, um, in our third row, this one is still being broken down in the body, right? 40% of what, whatever is this number, 500 times 0.40, is still being broken down. So you will have plus 500 times 0.40 raised to the second power, right? So let me re-explain this again. Let's say this is your, your, your you know, this looks like more like a, a thing of butter than a drug, but let's say this is the pill. This is Xanax. All right. Um, I'm more of a Tylenol person. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you have a 500 milligram pill. Um, so what's happening is that 40% of this drug is being used after day one right so after this is the initial dose so you have 500 of 40 uh percent of that drug remaining right but when you hit day two right so this is after day one after day two now 40 percent of of this number is still going to remain in your body Right, so that's like saying 500 times 0.40 times another 0.40. 500 times 0.40 times 0.40. But 0.40 times 0.40 is mathematically the same thing as 500 times 0.40 squared. Right? 
So this was the first pill. Now, when you get the second pill, the, the breakdown of that second pill begins after not day one, but day two, right? So here you have your second pill. So you have this amount in your body, in your bloodstream, right? Oh, sorry, I, I kind of cut off that square there, kind of need it. Plus, you'll have 500, uh, uh, forty percent of five hundred of that of the set of, of the drug of the second pill also in your body. Let's just say you know this problem were to access after three days. It it didn't access for it here, but if I did this for the third day, right? What do you think would be the amount of drug remaining? How do you think I'll write this out mathematically? I think you would just put the the forty percent, not forty percent, sorry, the, yeah, the forty percent to the third day. Mm -hmm. So it'll be to the third, five hundred times point forty to the third. Well, careful, five hundred. So I'll write it as three different colors. Five hundred times point forty to the third would represent day ones after the the first pill, right? Mm -hmm. But what happens now to your second pill? The second pill also has to be broken, you know, it's still getting broken down in the bloodstream, right? So that would have been 500 times 0.40 raised to the second power. Oh, okay. okay. And then remember, you're, you know, you are continually taking this drug, right? So for day three now, you got 500 times 0.40 to the first power. Oh, I see the pattern. Okay. Okay. Now, to help us solve part B, I'm going to continue this table with one more line. Let's see if I can write this out after N days. Well, after N days, what you're basically going to have here now, now this is going to look a little bit more trippy. After n days, you're going to have a sum where, okay, you will have 500 of the previous day's drug, uh, sorry, 40% of, of the previous day drug is being broken down. Then the one that came before that would have been 500 times uh, 0.40 squared plus 500 times 0.40 cubed. And if I continue this for n number of days, right, um, you're going to get 500 times 0.40 to the n power, right? It should have went backwards, sort of. It should have been 500 times 0.40 to the n, then 500 times 0.40 to the n minus 1, all the way down to the, the previous day's drug essentially or or all the way down to whatever whatever the case may be and what this basically gives us this n days this pretty much gives us now our our series that gives us the series because now you can identify what's your a and what's your r right part b says use a geometric series to compute the amount of painkiller in the body after a very long um of treatment after a very long time of treatment so for part b what you're going to get is um a series that resembles the following you'll have uh n equals one uh to infinity of the value of a right because remember you have to write this as a r to the t we know what's the r going to be R is going to be, sorry, let me write this as T so I don't confuse you guys. T days. We know R is going to be the 40% or 0.40, but what is the value of A? Well, A is the constant multiple that's being multiplied by all of the values, right? So that will be exactly the, the very first drug. 
uh, the very first pill. So if I do 500 of 0.40, uh, let's see. 10% of 500 is 50. So 40% of 500 should be 200. So this value would have been 200. So we have A is going to be 200. We'll have R to be 0.40, or you could write it as 4 over 10. I prefer that you guys write it as a fraction, like 4 over How'd 10 or probably 2 over 5. Only because, you know, when you write out your R value, you, you're, you're mostly writing it as a ratio. So we have this series, T equals 1 of 200 times 4 over 10 to the T. And uh, you're trying to figure out um, the amount of drug, amount of painkiller in the body after a very long time of tr treatment. So since we know the value of A and R, this, this series, this geometric series, um, converges to A over 1 minus R. So your A value is 200. Your R value is 4 over 10. So four, 1 minus 4 over 10 is 6 over 10. So this gives us 200 over 6 over 10. And then I could do 200 um, times the reciprocal, so 10 over 6, which will give us 2,000 over 6. You can reduce this to like basically 1,000 over 3. And I believe that will be your answer.